All right, this is what I need you to do. I need you to put your hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't care. Bruno's vlog 24K, y'all. I just made a joke. Just letting you know that it's no joke. I am bundled up here. I'm not the usual self. I got a mask on, but it's not doing anything. Just making me feel better. So I'm going to make my own facial mask because of this coronavirus thing. Stay tuned. So folks, some of these items I found right here in my own house. These are household items that you'll need. A HVAC filter. Uh, something stretchy material like this is a regular old t-shirt. I got some fabric glue. I got a pair of scissors, a ruler, aluminum foil, and <laughs> Etsy pad. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna, we're gonna take this HVAC filter. This cost me just about $6 at a regular grocery store, they actually had it. Okay, here's the filter. All right, so I had to get on the floor. This is what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna take this filter and we're gonna take it out of the little casing that it's in. All right, y'all, cutting out those little ties right here, it's taking too long, so I'm gonna just get to the point. I'm gonna turn on this backside and I'm gonna measure six inches up and nine inches across. Okay, what I'm going to do now, folks, I'm going to cut this with my scissors. Okay, you see these little nubby things, these little plastic ties? I'm just going to cut those out. Okay, folks, here's the piece of the filter that I cut out. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold it just like an accordion. And I'm gonna take a rubber band and seal it off at one end. I'm gonna take another rubber band and seal off the other end. Okay, this is what we have. You're gonna take this and open it up. It's gonna fit around my face just like this. See that? To all you guys out there, here's the fun part. You get to take a maxi pad. <laughs> you're gonna take the maxi pad and you're gonna open it up, if you know how. All right, here's a maxi pad. <laughs> you're gonna take the maxi pad and you cut off all these extra, extra edges right here. See these edges right here? Just go ahead and cut it off. Okay, just to let you guys know, this is an extra big maxi pad. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut a little bit more like right around this purple line you see here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna try to make it small. Okay, I cut around the pad. And now you're gonna take off the little adhesive strip, just like that, fold in half. And you're gonna stick it right inside the inside of the mask. Just like this. And as you can see, it's starting to form. And this is where you're gonna have your mouth at for protection. You're gonna have your mouth right inside the pad. <laughs> you're gonna have your mouth right inside the pad. <laughs> when you're done, guys, it's gonna look just like this. There you go. I can breathe hardly, but at least I'm not breathing any in bad particles. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this into our material. So for my material, y'all, I got this t-shirt. So it's just a plain black t-shirt. The 2XL, yeah, Bruno used to be fat. Not anymore, baby. So I'm gonna cut this up and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna attach the mask into the t-shirt or material. First of all, I'm gonna take it like this and I'm gonna cut it. Right while I fold it. See this little line here? You can't see it. It's a line right here. All I do is fold the shirt in half. And I'm going to cut it. It's going to make like a half t-shirt. All right. Here's the bottom of the t-shirt. I don't need this anymore. I'm going to use the top half of the t-shirt. Looks like this. And we're going to cut these tags off because that's going to be where my face is at. So what I'm going to do now, this is front and back. I'm just going to cut so I'll have 
two pieces. I can cut it right down the shoulder. It's going to make one piece. Okay, y'all. I got the t-shirt right here. And it's going to actually fit around my face just like this. But I'm going to attach the mask to it. So this maxi pad mask is going to go over my face. It's going to go inside, see? It's going to go inside the t-shirt. Just like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this super fabric adhesive and we're going to put it on the front edges, the front top edges of the mask. So it looks like this. I'm going to put it right up in this area. But I'm not going to glue it to my mustache. I'm going to, I don't have a mustache. I'm going to glue it to my shirt. So what I'm doing, guys, I just glued it to the top of the mask. I glued the top end, and I'm going to let it dry. Now I'm going to take the glue, and I'm going to do the bottom half of the mask. And my ruler, and I'm going to fold the ruler inside, just to give it a nice little strip, like a one-inch strip. Almost like this. I'm just going to keep turning it. Keep turning it and keep turning it and eventually take my ruler out and have a strip of aluminum foil, one inch. So I have an aluminum foil like this. I'm going to fold it one more time to make it a half inch. Almost like this, almost like a chewing gum. You ever get your Wrigley's chewing gum? You still have the little wrapper? Almost like that. So I'm gonna take my foil and I'm gonna put it inside the mask where my nose and my mouth is going. And it's sort of gonna be like this. So when I do this, it'll give it a little bit more shape to it. So after I glue the inside, I'm just gonna let it dry for a little bit. I'll be back. So here's the big reveal, y'all. Ta-da! I'm gonna put this mask on. It smells like adhesive. It's gonna tie it in the back. Notice I tie it underneath my ear. And it has a really good, has a really good tight fit in the front. So I know it looks crazy. I look like a gunman, but I feel safe. I hope when people see this, they know that I'm trying to protect myself and protect them from any germs that I may spray. <sighs> I can breathe better, but it's homemade. And oh well, I didn't have anything else to do, so I might as well just make one. And that's it. The mask. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I didn't. <laughs> but I want everybody out there to be safe. Think about other people. Uh, try to practice social distancing in the U.S. That means try to keep six feet away from the person next to you. If you can't do that, folks, don't know what to say. Um, make sure you take care of your senior citizens. Make sure you take care of the little ones that you may have around you. Most of all, take care of yourself. Bruno's Vlog 24K loves you, and we'll talk to you next time.